much. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Coach, uh, being back home, have you got a chance to check out Columbus and uh, the, the new well, renovations? My son, my son goes to school there. Yeah. Uh, what awesome. do you think my about the new goes. locker room? It's awesome. And all that. It's awesome. You know, any, that, that place is special and important to me and, and to Coach Cristobal. And, uh, I went to school there. My, my son's going to school there now. My father went to school yeah. there. So um, it's, it means yeah. a lot to me. Could you add a bit about the the brotherhood there? I went to La Salle, so yeah, I you looked can, at if, them as a rival. If you don't, if you if you didn't go there, it's yeah, you, it's hard to understand. Uh, but it's if if you went there, whether you're my age, you're 52, if if, if you're a kid that that just graduated from Columbus, and and I can help you, you're gonna get helped. Yeah, Are there just any? like people helped me, just because of. I went to school there. Yeah. So and so it, it's all about us all taking care of each other. Fraternity, right? Yeah. Fraternity. Yeah. Are there any lessons that you learned uh, at Columbus that you still use to this Every day? Every day. Everything I do. Everything I do. What I'm doing now, what I did this morning, what I'm going to do tonight. It's every day in every way. It's helped me become the person and the human being I am today. And my. Uh, my, it's, it was, it's been my compass and it continues to be my compass. And it's not necessarily the place, it's, it was the people. The people and, uh, from that place continue to be my, my guy in life. Going, going back to Columbus, Brotherhood, being Cuban American, is that something you guys are trying to instill here more than just football? You know, when, when these guys grow up, always be, have a shoulder to lean on? I, I would rather, I, I hope that when Zion Nelson gets married, I hope that when Ja'Kai Clark gets married, when DJ Skate get married, I hope that these guys are in each other's weddings. I hope that their children get to know their uncle. That's what I hope. Just kind of want to get you know, some early, you know, early impressions of Matthew McCoy, uh, Ines Cooper, athletic, you've seen Matt, them. Matt, really athletic, twitchy, uh, long, you know, um, so he's he's been really good, you know, really good. Obviously, getting here, uh, we weren't really recruiting Matt out at Oregon mm -hmm. because we had other right. other kids, you know, different coasts and all that stuff. Uh, so uh, never really got to see Matt physically move around until he got here, right? right? So it was it was kind of. Uh, a nice surprise to me, you know. I'm like, man, you know what? This, 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 this dude's got twitch and he's got athleticism and he's got length. So, uh, really, really uh, pleasantly surprised because I had never, like I said, seen him move around, you know. And then Inez, uh, Coop, Coop said, just, a, I mean, he's a big human being now, you know. He's in, in the 350 range, you know, about 354, 355, and uh, real powerful. Uh, athletic guy. The, the great thing about Matt, about Inez is despite the fact that he was so big, he was not phased by any of the conditioning, running, uh, fourth quarter program that we put these guys through in, in the summer. You know, I, I thought, oh man, you know, he's going to melt because he's so big, that things he hasn't, he hadn't, hadn't done, and no, at all. And it's been pretty cool to see uh, him transform his body you know where I mean a lot of the baby fat's gone and hardening up and stuff so I'm, I'm very I'm fired up to see his big tail in, in, in pads. From a recruiting standpoint I mean obviously you guys have put together a good group of kids coming you know next year and all that stuff so why why is it you know for you guys why is it one important to build up the offensive line and then you know just getting these kids like I don't know this is how you're getting them. You know what I, I, I think it's just First of all, relationships, right? It's, it's building relationships. It's um, selling ourselves as teachers, you know, because at the end of the day, I try to tell all these guys, listen, all this smoke, it's, it's, you better go where you're going to be taught, you know, and, and, and you're going to be coached and, you know, and, you want, and you're going to be pushed. And they've, they've seen Coach Cristobal's history with old linemen, my history with old linemen, and I think they, they can see that, you know, you know how how it works, right? Um, and then the, the kids that are you know that were you know like Matt and, and Inez, you know they they obviously wanted to be part of it and wanted to you know when, when they come here, when they come here, when, when whether whether it's these guys, class of 2023, class of 2024, I I'm not I'm not a warm and fuzzy guy. I'm not. I mean I'm I'll take recruiting pictures with them, and, but yeah. I'm. 
I'm gonna get you in the old line room. We're gonna watch film. We're gonna watch tape. You know, we're gonna watch tape. You're gonna be able to see how how we how we coach these guys, how we teach these guys. You know, and, and to me, that's I want I want guys that are attracted to that. I don't want guys that are attracted to other other things. You know, if I invite guys to watch film and watch tape, and they want to. Now I'll talk to you about fishing. I'm good. I'll talk to you about that. I'll, I'll talk to you about. But at the end of the day. Do you like ball? You know, if you don't like ball, I don't kind of want to be around that. You know, because uh, at the end of the day, that's part of what we do, right? So um, they can see that. You know, and, you know. Now the way recruiting is, you know, the way recruiting is, you better, you better get them here a couple times. And so you get them there a couple times, and they're they're in the classroom with you, watching tape, watching film, and stuff like that. And I think. I think that goes along with those kids. What is a what is a Miami offense? I mean, you described a lot of characters. What does a Miami offensive lineman look like to you when you're looking at tape and all that type of stuff? What, well, what are some of the things that you're they got, playing, whether it be physically or you know the stuff? Like they got to be athletic. Uh, it, it's nice when they're athletic and big, but you never sacrifice athleticism. Never, because you can't. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, now when you get them at big and they're athletic, then it, it could be a problem for other people. You know, so but but never. I'd I'd rather take a smaller guy that's athletic than a big guy who can't move. So I mean, that's something that we will not do. We didn't do that at the other place, and we're not doing that here. You know, you got McCoy, and I'm using them because I can't talk about the guys that are committed to it. So, but you got McCoy, and you got Cooper, and those guys are big men that can move. You know, so that to me is something that we will not sacrifice here. Coach Mario, first of all, is, uh, you know, instituted and how that's helping you guys reach your goals. Yeah, so it, it all starts, obviously, the dis and first, the, the part of the things that w which Coach is trying to do is, these are things that are for life, right? Not just football, right? So, uh, they are, if we have a meeting that starts at 7.30, they ain't go they're not showing up at 7.28, 7.29. You know, it's, they're going to be before time. And you know, and so, you know. What time do you expect it? For a 7.30 meeting, what time should they be there? <laughs> They'll be there at 7.25, you uh -huh. know. So it's, and they're, you know, their hand is going to be behind the white line. And and they're not going to have hats in the building. And when we go, you know, if practice was going on, it's, everybody's shirts are going to be tucked in. You know, there's, uh, it's just certain things, you know. Um, they're going to wear their, their, their pants at their waist. Uh, certain things that, that we think are going to help them in job interviews. You know, not just football, not just about football. And, and discipline is something that, that's being done uh, for you. It's not, it's not a punishment. You know, I think when all the and, and, and they want it. They, they, they've embraced the discipline. They, they know that they're reaping the rewards of it, you know. So uh, it's, not a, it's not a negative thing. Enemies that have not the number of friends. Because if you have a lot of friends, then the means you're telling a lot of people what they really, really want to hear, and not what they need to hear. And uh, so, but but they, they, there's guys that are like, you know what? No, this is wrong. This is how we need to do it. So, and it's been it's been awesome to see. You're welcome. Coach, go, going back. Oh, what? Coach you go. Jimmy Johnson said that it's not about really the offensive line. It's all about the offensive line coach. Oh, what do you I don't, what are your thoughts? It's always about the players. In my, in my, it's it's about the players. It's about um, it's always about the players. I'm, you know, I'm I'm just blessed, humbled, and honored to be in a position uh, to teach them, and uh, they've been unbelievable. They've been unbelievably accepting uh, to what Coach and I are talking about from the technique. Uh, Hat placement, hands, all that stuff. They've been unbelievably accepting of it, so which is which has been nice. But I, I would, and, and and all due respect to Coach Johnson, but I always think it's about the players.